Hey guys, I'm Ashley Adams, and this is How to Bake It in Hollywood, where I make cakes for celebrities. I've enjoyed learning how to do this on my own, and I'm excited to share my tips with you at home. Today I'm teaming up with Scott Porter of Friday Night Lights in Heart of Dixie. So, what are we thinking? I'm hosting a huge kickoff party this weekend for my Nebraska Cornhuskers. I want something special there, so I was hoping you could help me out with that. You know that's a conflict of interest. University of Texas Longhorn alum. Dude, you're short-circuiting. Calm down. I'll totally do it. You're gonna do it. I'll totally do it. Yes. Just remember, Ash, Husker Nation is watching. See you soon. For Scott's cake, I've decided to make a 3D replica of a Nebraska football helmet. Scott really likes red velvet, and I really like Duncan Hines. Why, you ask? Because it cuts the time in half. Here's an insider tip. I'm adding a cup of sour cream to make this bad boy taste moist and delicious. To bake the three layers of cake, I'm going to use two round nine inch pans and a half ball pan. This recipe calls for a cook time of about 30 minutes, but because you have different sized pans, I keep an eye on it. So I'm gonna set my timer for about 30 minutes. And now, it's time for the Rockin' 80s Halftime Show. know who should be more embarrassed, me or you? Definitely me. You're a little early. Oh, okay. Uh, do we go toss the ball around a little bit? Yeah, I don't know, QB1. I'm not really good at American football. Fourth quarter. Three seconds left on the clock. You can't hit this, Chica. Oh! Dang it! I want a rematch! Now it's time to drive us in for a game-winning cake, Jason Street style. First thing I'm gonna do is flip the cake onto the cake circle. Then you're gonna apply a hearty layer of icing to the cake. Next, we're gonna transfer the other cake atop the iced one. And then ice the entire thing. To cut the front part of the helmet out, you're gonna need to prepare your cake circle with a scalloped edge, place it on top of the cake, and use it as a stencil. Now we're gonna add the half ball pancake atop the iced cake. Keep the cake circle in place to help support the top layer. And then ice the entire thing. Crumb coating may seem overwhelming, but after a couple layers, all those pesky crumbs will disappear, so just stick with it. We're almost there, guys. Next, it's time to cut the fondant, but first we have to color it. Today, our colors are red and black. After you've colored your fondant, now it's time to roll it out. So we can make the Nebraska N accents, the red stripe, and the face mask. To make the face mask, we're gonna use floral wire because it's pliable and easy to cut, but it's also durable when it's wrapped in fondant. It might be a little time consuming to create it, but just be patient, you can do it. Now that you have your accents and your face mask, we're ready to apply it to the cake. Okay, we're ready to put on the finishing touch, the face mask. So, did I score a touchdown? Or did the Longhorn fumble the ball? Hey, you could have not. I'm sorry, I'm just too excited to see the cake. That's a cake? Yeah. A helmet cake? That's awesome. Can I wear it? I wouldn't advise it. Everyone is gonna love it. Now, Scott, tell us what you think about your Nebraska Cornhuskers cake. Well, folks, I gotta say that uh, I feel like Ashley was our MVP today. She really, she really came to bake. 
You know, I felt like the coach, I brought a game plan and she just delivered on it. Led our team to victory, left it all out in the kitchen. So uh, I think it's time to go celebrate this moment. This victory is ours. So I'm gonna go see everybody, friends and family, celebrate Husker football and go Big Red! Say it. I can't, I still can't. Ha, 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 ha.